Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. We have been dealing with the notion of average for the last few days. The uh, problem that we'll do today is actually a continuation of the problem that we did yesterday and day before yesterday. Make sure that you have watched day number 72 and 73 before you continue watching this video. 72 and 73 is what we uh, what you need to watch first. This is the continuation of it, as, as I said. So assuming that you have, let's, let's, let's continue. Here's what we are told. We are told that each employee belongs, each employee belongs to either department X or department Y. Everybody in the company belongs to either department X or department Y. We are told that department X has more than thrice as many people as in department Y. Department X has more than thrice as many people, more than, remember, not exactly Department X does not, we are not told that Department X has thrice as many people, we are told that it has more than thrice as many, thrice means three times as many, more than three times as many, thrice is the word that we learned in our vocabulary lesson, if you recall, on day number 63 in our vocabulary lesson, we learned about thrice, which means three times as many, if you are interested in improving your vocabulary, just type in the tag, just look for search for GR, if you're preparing for GRE for example, just type in GRE vocabulary words, day 63, or SAT vocabulary word, day 63, or whatever it is that you're preparing for, ACT, T's, GMAT, whatever it is, type in the name of the test, the vocabulary words, day number, and it will pop right up. Watch the video where we learned the word thrice, which means three times as many. So we are told that Department X has more than three times as many people as in Department Y. We are further told that the average average salary of Department X is 15,000. We are told that the average salary of Department Y is 25,000. These are the averages for the two departments. The question is very straightforward, very simple. The question simply is, which of the following, which of the following could be, could be the overall average among the numbers that are given to us? 14,000, 16,000, 18,000, 20,000, or 22,000. These are all, these are all in thousands. What I want you to do is, what I want you to do right now is to pause the video right now, solve the problem yourself. Once you, once you have, once you have the answer yourself, once you have solved the problem yourself, as always, then continue to continue the video, resume the video, and compare your work against the work that you and I will do together in a few seconds' time. Okay? Pause. I'll give you five seconds to be able to pause and unpause the video. Exactly five seconds. Voila. Why five seconds? Because that's exactly how much I need in order to have my sip. There we go. So what do we do here? Well, first thing first. First thing first. Average score, around, not average score rather. Not average score rather. That's not what I meant to say. That was the that was the problem we did yesterday and the day before yesterday when we were talking about the average score in the class. Here we're talking about the average salary. The average salary in Department X we are told is fifteen thousand. Average salary in Department Y we are told is twenty five thousand. What does it tell us? It tells us that the overall average for the entire firm could not possibly be below 15. When we have a series of numbers, for example, for example, if we have 2, 7, 9, 37, 49, and 95, I don't know what the average of this number is, but the average of these numbers cannot be below 2. Average can never be, average can never be less than the lowest, average can never be less than the lowest number in the, in, in the series. And average also can never be, overall average that is, the average of these numbers, can never be more than 95. The average can never be more than the highest number in the series, obviously, and average can never be, average can never fall below the lowest number. Because everybody is above it, of course, they're, they're, they're all pulling the average up. So average is got to be between 2 and 95. Here we are told that the average for the one department is 15, the average for other department is 25, Overall average cannot be 14. That, that answer is silly. That answer is nonsensical. It's not possible. Let's begin. I need the room, so I'm going to have to erase everything. I hope you got the, you got the problem, uh, all, all, all of it thoroughly. Each, each employee belongs to either Department X or Department Y. Department X has more than twice as many people as in Department Y. Average salary for X is 15,000. Average salary for Y is 25,000. Which of the following could be the overall average? Let's, let's make a note here. Average for x was 15. 
and our reach for y was 25. Let's begin. We'll pretend, we'll pretend that, we'll pretend that there are, in fact, exactly, exactly thrice as many in X. We are told that there are more than three times as many people in department X as there are in department Y. To start out with, to keep our life simple, let's pretend, let's, let's, let's ask ourselves, what, what would the average have been, what would have been the average, what would have been the average, if it turns out, if we did in fact have exactly three times as many people in X as there are in Y. Well, that's very simple. Let's pretend there are three people in X, each, and they have the average of 15, which means their average times the number of, number of people will be the total amount of money that they earn. And there are three times the people in X. This is the X here, and this is the department Y. For every one person that we have in Y, we have three people in, in X. And that people, that person is earning 25. For a total of four people. This is the X, this is the Y. We have three people in X. For every three person in X, we have one person in Y. Let's find out what the overall average turns out to be. And the 3 times 15 is 45 and that's 25 0 carry 1 7. So it's 70 divided by 40. 70 divided by 40. 70 divided by 40. How many how many 4 does 7 have? Let's do it here. 70 divided by 40. How many 4's does 7 have? 7 has 1 4. 7 has 1 4. The remaining three goals it joins to zero. The remaining three goals it joins to zero becomes thirty. And thirty has how many fours? Seven fours are twenty-eight. It's very important that we that we know our timetable. Seven fours are twenty-eight. Seven fours are twenty-eight. Well we have thirty. We have a remainder of two. That remainder of two is being divided by four. So the overall average turns out if we had exactly three times as many people. If we had exactly three times as many people in X as there are in Y, and if the average of average for X is 15 and the average for Y is 25, if all of those conditions are met, then the overall average would be exactly 17 and a half. 17 and a half. Two over four is 17 and a half. 17 and a half thousand. 17 and a half thousand. But the reality is that we have more than three times as many people in X. The reality is we have more than three times as many people in X and each of them is earning a lower salary. Well, I shouldn't say each of them is earning lower salary. What I meant is that their average is lower than the average in 25, which means the more people that you put in department X, the, low, the, 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 the lower they pull the average. The average is pulled, the average is pulled down. Given the, so, therefore, so therefore, given the fact that we have more than thrice as many people, overall average cannot be 17 and a half or more. Overall average cannot be 17 and a half or more, which tells us that the average can now be 22, 20, 18. This is the possible answer. It is possible for the overall average to be 16, but it cannot be 18 because if we did have exactly three times as many people in X, even in that case, the average would only be 17 and a half. We have more than three times as many people, they put the average down. The answer is 16. Now I'm going to give you. Oh, a problem for homework just like we did just like we just like we did on day number 72 Seven, day 72 and 73 they go together they are it's a two part series there similarly day 74 and 75 they go together because i'm about to give you homework here's your homework here's your homework question is this what exactly what exactly needs to be the, the ratio. What exactly needs to be the ratio of x to y if the overall average if the overall average is exactly we're claiming sixteen thousand exactly sixteen thousand dollars. It is two-part question. I'm going to give you one more part, only because I'm a nice guy. 
I'm going to make it interesting. It is also possible for overall average to be 17,000. Or for that matter, any number at all, as long as it's below 17,500. It could also be 17,499. But well, we're not going to make it so complicated. What I want you to do for homework is to find out what exactly, what exactly needs to be the ratio of x to y in order for the overall overall in order for the overall average to be exactly 16,000 part A and then 17,000 part B given the fact that we are told that the average average salary in department X is 15,000 average salary in department Y is 25,000 now in order for in order for you to be able to do this problem you're going to have to watch not just yes you're going to have to watch day number 73 yesterday's video but you can't watch yesterday's video because yesterday video is continuation of day number 72 I'll see you tomorrow okay bye now